What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. Come back. I'm adding something to my cook set. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mitchin Outdoors. You've seen my hike videos. You've seen all my uh, day camp, a uh, couple day camp videos I've done. I always have this little set with me when I'm day camping and stuff like that. I even take it on the weekends. Uh, sometimes it's what I use to boil up coffee with. Um, one of the problems, I, one of the things I don't have or haven't have is, I mean, I've got the... You know, I got the pot, I got the cup. Guess I'll lay everything out in case you forgot what's in it. And that's a little bit of salt and stuff. Got the canister for the fuel inside the pot. Of course, I'll throw in coffee. Let's see. Nope, that's empty because I had sugar in it. I always take little packs of sugar and put them in these film canisters. This one's actually salt and pepper, so. Anyway, um, and then whenever I get ready to go out, all I got to do is add a little bit of food and stuff to the to the thing, and we're good to go. Got a little snacks and whatever we got. Um, so anyway, one of the things I've never had, and what I've always relied on, which you can't always rely on because it's not always there, is something to keep the wind from blowing against the flame. Now that's a new canister, so I'm not going to pop it open. This is an old one. Um, I always get the little canisters to put in this cup because they slide right down into it and there's a little pop and they're out but the big canisters I keep those too uh, I keep those keep one in all my um, well my main cook kits for camping but one of the things I've never had is a windscreen I've always relied on and I may roll a couple of videos in of me cooking out I've always relied on freestanding uh, grill that I could drop the grate down and have it down inside so the wind is not blowing it so bad but that's great if you're in a campground that has those just sitting there and but if you're on the trail you really need a windscreen now I thought I kind of screwed up buying this one I, I got it on uh, Amazon it's rather big. <laughs> I think I probably should have bought a smaller one. Um, but it is what it is. I'm going to make it work. Uh, it's got, you know, I can take, I think I could take it apart and make it smaller if I needed to. But it works out perfect. You know, gives me plenty of room, I guess you could say. But anyway, it, it was it was nothing biggie is cheap on Amazon like I said but it'll work because you can stick these in the ground to kind of keep it from going anywhere um, but yeah I mean I did, it's all I really need was a good windscreen so I got one and you can put bigger pots and stuff around it let's see for instance I used this one to cook chili in one time camping so it would be below the windscreen uh, if you wanted to fry up an egg or two, me being with diabetes, so my menus are changing very rapidly. Of course, if it had food in it, it wouldn't do that. But um, it gives you room to work. I know it's probably too big of a windscreen, but, you know, we're going to make it work. That's, that's what we do. We make things work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, day camp, I probably won't bring these. I might, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But um, I do plan on getting back out there as soon as I can. Uh, still trying to get used to all this medication and everything. But I'll leave a link down below for this. I think it was like 13, 14 bucks. It was fairly inexpensive. And um, if you want to check one out, you can. But uh, it'll work. I mean, it's lightweight, pretty lightweight. It doesn't hardly weigh anything. It's, I'm sure it's all... Uh, aluminum material or something of that nature um, but it has a kind of inexpensive little bag to put it in keep it in and like I said I moved up a size in my carry bag for my um, cook kit so I could put the food in it too uh, when I'm day hiking or whatever day camping that way I've got my lunch 
and once again being diabetic now you have to um, plan that stuff a little bit ahead so that you have snacks you have meals and stuff ready to go and one thing's for sure you don't want to get the blood sugar to get out of whack and well, next thing you know you're <laughs> comatose in the middle of a campground that would not be any kind of fun so anyways guys i just wanted to share that with you um got a pretty cool video coming out for next saturday hope you'll enjoy it hope everything's going good by the way if you have um diabetic type recipes that you would like to share with me that'd be great i'm i'm looking for anything you gotta remember i'm a southern boy i grew up eating fried chicken and fried everything and now i'm really having to adjust and i will tell you it's some adjusting uh some severe adjusting but uh i'm gonna do it because one i want to get back out on the trail too i want to go back to camping i want to do all the things i used to do and right now trying to get all the energy back and get everything well you know where i feel normal better <laughs> normal whatever uh it's just taking time all right well that's it for this week um we may have something big planned for next weekend we'll see we're working on some things i'm working on some things but um that's it for now i appreciate you watching appreciate everybody subscribed and don't forget 1500 we're still going to do a giveaway because mid 10 outdoors is not going anywhere we're just going to keep on rolling and we're going to adjust to the cards that are dealt because everybody else does why shouldn't i all right guys be prepared